twice a week during the fall, Buholz High School girls lacrosse takes to the field for practice. Except that field is more like a glorified backyard at the Boys and Girls Club of Alashua County. Like most lacrosse teams in the area, the Bobcats practice off campus, while high revenue sports dominate school facilities. And while practicing, the players don't just need to watch the coaches, they also need to watch their step. It looks great at the beginning of the season. Uh, at the end of the season, it is just kind of a, a mis, you know, a mash of uh, uh, a lot of dirt. A study in the Journal of Athletic Training discovered that preseason practice injury rates in girls lacrosse are twice as high as in the regular season. 60% of those injuries are to the lower body. Lynn Milanoff coaches at Buholz with her husband Ian and believes overusage of fields puts athletes at risk. You know, they roll ankles because they're stepping in a hole or, you know, there's certain areas of the field that get overused, like right in front, in front of the goalie. So, um, you know, somebody runs over that and they're not, they don't have their eyes looking down where they're going. They're going to hit, you know, just a pile of sand. BHS began playing games at home last year, but other sports rip up that field too. Although field conditions are far from ideal, high schools in the area are lucky they have organizations like the Boys and Girls Club here in Gainesville to help them out with a temporary solution when nobody else would or could. The problem is, no viable long-term solution exists. When high school lacrosse launched in 2007, schools had enough participants, but not enough facilities. We put the cart before the horse, maybe, you know, by having these lacrosse teams and not having a dedicated field, but obviously we don't have the funding. Alashua County Public Schools allocate over $175,000 to the district's six high schools for non-revenue producing sports, but a maximum of only 5,000 goes towards fields. Schools still need extra help with maintenance from staff and volunteer parents. Lacrosse is rapidly expanding, but lack of facilities could stunt growth. We've got uh, an awful lot of middle schoolers in our program that uh, we could easily double um, and go through the summer and into the fall if we had a place for them. The Bobcats are already hard at work to fill the holes on offense and defense. Unfortunately, the same can't be said about the fields they'll play on. Joel Sebastianelli, WUFT News.